Hello friends, this is Satyendra here and I welcome you to the Daily Dose series of Tableau Visualization. In today's session, I'm going to talk about a very colorful topic uh, related to colors in Tableau, right? Uh, so before I talk more about, you know, the scenarios, let me open Tableau and, uh, okay, I'll just open this regional file, which I have got over here. And uh, we'll see like how we generally we use color palettes or colors provided by Tableau within it, right? So I have already kind of created a sheet which has colleges, uh, total scores plotted in the bar plot. And with that, I have, you know, color palette on which we ha I have already dragged colleges. So you see the colleges um, being assigned a specific color. And that is what you see on these bars. If I go to settings, you can see like uh, there are a number of color palettes which are already available in Tableau version. And those are kind of assigned to, I can pick any of these and I can assign to the, you know, these categories and I can show that into the report. Maybe if I choose blue, I can assign that and I can see the colors basis, the selected palette, right? Have you ever wondered, for example, uh, like let's say the organization where you work, they have a specific color brand, right? Branding. For example, let's say art and sciences, I need to assign a specific color to this one. Maybe business, I need a separate color. color. And for communication, I have a separate color code decided by the organization, right? And I don't see that branding available or I don't see that palette available over here. What to do in that scenario? Right. So scenarios like this, I would recommend you to do a little bit research on tableau.com. They have provided a wonderful functionality through which you can add your custom color palette within any version of Tableau desktop. Right. Now, before I go ahead and do that, let me talk about one more file which is already available on your system. If you got Tableau desktop, irrespective of Windows or Mac. Right. So this, I'm talking about my Tableau repository folder, which is generally available within documents folder, wherever the Tableau desktop is installed, right? Now over here, you got this preference.tps file. You got to open this. And within this, you will see some preferences which you can define, right? So we'll talk about you know some of the options over here, what we can do, how can we customize or add our own customer uh, custom color palette. For that, we need to kind of open and create a preference tag within this, right? So you've got to be very clear with the spellings, what we type here, because in case of uh, the spelling mistake or spell mistakes, this might not reflect in your Tableau, right? So preference, preferences, yeah, you can just, you know, compare the spelling with the file name over here. So it is P-R-E-F-E-R-E-N-C-E, -E -E. okay. And then we got to close this particular tag just below this. You can see like workbook tag got closed. Similarly, I'm going to close that. Now, that's not all. We need to define our custom color palette within the preferences, within the preferences tags, right? For this, as I mentioned, you can go back or you can, you know, search for some color palette code on tableau.com. So you will get this page basically, they have defined all the you know, steps, what you need to follow. And that is exactly what I'm doing as of now. You can see over here, there are color palettes which are already there in your Tableau version. Their hexa HTML code is already defined over here. So I'm not going to use any of these, whichever is already available. I'm going to use maybe this one, which is already discontinued, right? But um i'll take a small one for example um let's say this one right it is discontinued but i'm going to add it again into the version which i have right the desktop version which i have got so i'll just copy and paste that code here you will see the structure like they have given the name like classic green orange six i can call it uh, my org or my brand my branding, branding, all right. And you would notice here that they have 
specific colors defined over here. So this is one color and this it is related to the hexadecimal code of that color. I really don't know that what color it would be, but I just know the hexa code over here. Similarly, other color, like each color is defined over here. Just to tell you that in case you want to add your own, uh, you know, like color here, what you need to do is you need to open the tag color. And after this, you need to close that tag, right? So I'll just say, for example, close color. And within this, you need to put an hexa HTML code related to the color which you want to add, right? Where would you get that code from? For that, I'll ask you again, go to Google, search for hexa HTML color picker. It will help you to get the code related to a color, whichever you want to add. So this one here, I mean, let's say if I select this particular, I want to add this color, or maybe I can just go here. I want to add this color, which is selected right now. I can take this code, right? Or you can copy it from here. It's one on the same thing. So I'll just copy this and go back to that file and I'll add that code over here. I just copied that here, right? I can go back and maybe if I, want to add any other color, I'll just simply do that, right? I'll open a tag. After that, I'll close a color tag. And within that, I'll put my hexa HTML code. So maybe this time I'll go for a blue one, maybe this color. Well, let's, let's take something like this. Okay, I like this color. So I can just copy this code. And I'll go back to that file, paste that code, this. So what I'm doing, I'm choosing a color, getting the hexa HTML code and putting that here in the file, right? Maybe if you want, you can delete all the, delete all the old ones. You can add, add all the new colors over here, depending on your requirement. Once you're done, you just need to save this file. You are done. I saved that file and we need to restart Tableau. Right, so I'll just save this file and we'll open it again. So I just close this, I'll go to desktop and I have that file here called region. So I'll just open it again. Okay, we see the previous color scheme which, which I assigned to these colleges or these categories over here. Now, I'll just go back and edit the colors once again, right? The blue which we assigned earlier, that is still there. But in the drop down, you might notice that I have got my branding here now. That is exactly what I added, right? These are the last two colors which I added based on my preference, other than what I copied from the tabu.com website, right? I can just click on assign palette and I can apply. And here we go. We got colors based out of our requirement, right? We just added a color palette based on our requirement. Or if your organization have defined colors, you can get the hexa codes, add that here and use it across all your reports, right? It's super easy, super, you know, exciting. You can go back to this tableau.com uh, tableau website, read about further details. And uh, in case you need any other color, you can go back to this website wherein you can pick any color, whichever you want to add into your tablet desktop. And last but not the least, go back to my channel, subscribe it if you have not done and put, you, and put your comments for more questions and suggestions. So that's all for today. Have a nice time. Enjoy your rest of the day. Thank you so much.